Listen, I want to talk about something real quick. This is important. By the way, good morning, everybody. Look, man, some of you guys don't know how to sell. That's the problem. What would Andy Elliott say to his 20-year-old self? Man, learn how to freaking sell, dude. Yeah. Learn how to sell. You're freaking weak. Most of you guys, you know what? You're, you're afraid. You have no courage. You know what I'm saying? You won't unlock the real you. I spent too much time when I was younger worrying about what other people thought about me, and it literally hold, it held me back from becoming the badass that I could have been twice as fast. Hell shit, 10 times as fast. And by the way, guys, I didn't have me when I was you. I, I didn't have a guy to look up to. I didn't have somebody to tell me, quit being a candy. Like seriously, quit being a freaking baby. Quit, get your together. You're a salesperson. The world needs salespeople. Look, if you hate salespeople, you hate income. It's that easy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that doesn't want to become a salesperson doesn't want any income. That's it. The end of the day, so at 20 years old, I would have told myself to learn to be the best salesman in the world and get your money right. How do you get your money right? By becoming the best salesman and closer in the freaking world. But man, so many of you guys, good morning, Jeff Middleton. Hey. You guys think too freaking small. Yeah, and I'm yelling at you because I'm sick of your freaking baby asses thinking so small. I've been telling you for a year straight to level up, but every time I turn around, you freaking sit here and you're like, win, win, win. They ain't working. Win, win, win. Hey, quit being a freaking baby. You know what I'm saying? Do it for your freaking family. Do it for your kids and your wife. I'm sorry you surround yourself with losers. I'm sorry, I can't change that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can. No, but I can't change that. You gotta freaking change it. Nobody's gonna change your family's life but you. Nobody, man. Are you freaking kidding me? Some of you guys are looking for the silver bullet and, it's, and, and, silver bullet and it's you. And the deal is, is that when I mean this, you guys, some of you just want to complain and whine your whole life. At 20 years old, I never complained. I just didn't have a damn mentor. You guys freaking have one now. And you know what? I tell you what to do. I tell you to get your money right. How do you get your money right? It's real easy. You freaking train. Look, wealthy people don't spend money, they use money. Spending money is what broke people do. Using money is what wealthy people do. How do wealthy people become wealthy? How do people that are broke I don't get my advice from millionaires, okay? I don't go read the millionaire next door book and then that's how I became a millionaire. I became a millionaire by watching broke people come back and make it. And the automotive industry has more comeback stories than anyone else in the world. Everybody in the world has a comeback story that starts today. You guys gotta get your together. Look in the mirror, stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself and go kick some freaking ass. Stop being a damn baby all the time. And I love you guys. I, look, I'm here for you forever, but I gotta tell you the truth. If you really wanna change your life, you gotta change. <laughs> if you won't change, nothing's gonna change. Remember, wealthy people use money. Broke people spend money. Look, I was talking to a guy the other day He's on his last thousand dollars, and I told him to use it to come to the Master Closer Seminar. He goes, bro, I only got a thousand. How, why would I, how can I give you my last thousand? Because like, that wouldn't even make sense. I said, you know what's screwed up? Is the fact that you're so in such a dangerous spot because you only have a thousand, that your mind has become scarcity, and you're holding on to that thousand because you don't want to lose it, and you're never gonna change, and you're gonna stay broke your whole life. You're gonna think this big, this small, your target is so small. Listen, I it, it pisses me off and I wanna punch the freaking phone every time I hear y'all's weak ass targets. Raise that. How many times do I gotta tell you to raise the targets? How many times do I gotta tell you guys, yes, knowledge is power, but knowledge is nothing if you don't take action. Some of you guys won't execute for sh I tell you every day, go execute, go kill it, go execute, go execute. You know what? You're not going to execute because you're scared. You have zero courage and you're soft. Guess what? You don't have to stay soft. You don't have to stay that way. Okay? You can change that right now. 
But you, you are, you're not sick of being tired yet. Dude, I got to a point where I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. And guess what? I freaking changed. My life changed forever. I was a millionaire. Now we're creating millionaires all around the country. Every damn day. But you know what? You don't want to change, nothing's going to change.